In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Soundwave wallpaper in Photoshop. And it's really simple to do. Um, and I got this, I got inspiration for this from VladStudio.com. So we're going to need two documents actually because we're going to make a pattern. One's going to be 40 by 40. So I'll just make that. And the other one is going to be 1600 by 1200. Ish if you need to, to scale down these uh, dimensions. So I'm going to go on the 40 by 40. I'm going to zoom in by hitting Command or Control and then Plus. And then I'm going to turn on my grid, which I've made um, 20 pixels wide by going to Preferences and then Guides, Grids, and Slices. Um, go to your paintbrush tool. Got a soft brush gonna make it way smaller by hitting the left curly bracket click a couple of times now press command or control a to select all go to edit and then define pattern and you and uh, click OK but I don't need to because I've already made the pattern got that Let's zoom in a bit Go up to layer, new fill layer, and then gradient. And I've got a gradient preset here. It's blue, purple, and red. And uh, purple's just at 50% uh, location, blue's at 0, and red's at 100. And I'll put the hex codes for the colors in the sidebar. And I'm going to set the angle to 0 degrees. I'm going to set the scale like 121 ish. Click OK. Again, I'm going to make a new gradient. It's going to be the same one, different angle though, and uh, scale. I'm going to set the angle, or angle's going to be 90 degrees. Scale's going to be like 21, just really small. And I'm going to set the one, well, the, the top one, the one we just made, to a blend mode of pin light. And we get kind of a cool flare thing going on there. Uh, next, I'm going to fill, or no, no, I'll wait. Uh, top one, make a new line. Just gonna change that to black. And weight's gonna be 20 pixels in this case. Um, hold down shift and drag. Uh, should be black. Then you'll get one that's perfectly straight. Then go to filter, uh, distort, and then wave. Simplify. And I've actually got this uh, preset up, sort of. alright. So we've got a cool wave and just play around with all the settings because you make like totally crazy waves. Um, so we got that. I'm gonna bring that back to white. Just fill up. Duplicate the layer and on the bottom one go to filter blur then Gaussian blur. I'm gonna use like 10 to 15 pixels. Just kind of depends. Whatever turns you on. So it kind of glows a bit. Now it's actually kind of blocky, so you want to be careful when you do the wave that it, the edges are nice and soft. Now I'm going to add the pattern. So on the bottom uh, gradient, go to layer, new fill layer, and then uh, pattern. Click OK. And then just all you need to do is find your pattern. Click OK. And you can see it shows up in some of the areas and doesn't show up as much in others. Um, I'm actually going to delete a bit of that. So go to your top wave that isn't blurred, press Command or Control, and then click the thumbnail to select it. Go back to the layer mask of the pattern on your brush. Then make it big by hitting the right curly bracket. I'm just going to brush... Oh, I forgot one thing. Go to Select, Modify, and then Expand. Click OK. And I add that on 20 pixels, but you can change that depending on how, how much you want to show. So again, black brush on the layer mask. I'm just going to brush that in. Just so that any dots within 20 pixels of the wave get deleted. So there's one more thing to do. On the top layer, I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, and then gradient again. Click OK. 
and we're going to go foreground and background and change the uh, white to black and then right in the middle here we're going to make the an opacity stop to 0% and then you can just change the location to 50% click OK so you can see we got a, a really hard vignette and styles linear angle blah blah, blah. And you can scale it down like if you only want a tiny bit of the uh, wave to show scale it down if you want almost the whole thing to show scale it up I need a hundred percent though click OK and that's about it that's how to make a wave wallpaper uh, keep in mind uh, that when you're making uh, the wave you want to make sure the edges are nice and soft it just depends how you play with the sliders um, another thing you can add like a logo down here I find it looks pretty cool uh, play with all the gradients and check the sidebar for tips if I forgot something in the video or um, so you can copy the hex codes for the colors and all you need to do is click on the stop go to color just paste it in simple as that and uh, to make new stops just click so that's how to make a wave wallpaper in Photoshop um, again check out the sidebar for tips tricks and hex codes for colors thanks for watching guys if you like this video please comment and rate and if you like my channel please check it out and subscribe because when you subscribe every time I make a new video it appears right in your youtube.com homepage thanks for watching